welcome to the Legacy of Nerd YouTube channel. Um, you probably haven't seen me before. I am doing a very different sort of re review of what I usually do. Uh, I am usually a toy hunter, toy review, Power Ranger news, Marvel news, Hasbro news, whatever nerd has uh, to offer. Uh, but when I started my YouTube channel, a week after I found out I was going to be a father. So uh, I am having to buy a lot of things <laughs> Uh, for the baby that will be here very, very soon. Um, if you're like me and my fiance, we have been searching reviews of things that we need, uh, going through many different items, and one of those items being the crib. Um, you're probably stressing on what kind of crib you should get or what kind of stroller, what kind of uh, pack and play, but you finally make a decision. And for me, I finally made the decision to buy the, the Da Vinci Charlie 4-in-1 convertible crib. Uh, looked over some reviews. Uh, they sell this one at Target, I believe Amazon, and Bye Bye Baby. Um, we actually bought this one at Bye Bye Baby. Um, the reviews have been really good. The only negative thing I really see a lot is um, there were scratches on it when it was delivered to their home, so I made a point to go buy this in store. Uh, in store, it was retailing at, at $220. Uh, we signed up for the rewards, got 20% off, I think we end up paying about $180 for this crib. And I know you're saying like, I wanna, you know, why didn't you spend more on a crib? And we were thinking about it, you know, spending maybe a thousand or maybe even more on a crib that will grow with the child for their entire life. And then I started thinking, I didn't have the same bed and stuff growing up. Um, what if she doesn't like what we buy her? So this gives her the option um, the back of it should be able to turn into at least a headboard. So if she wants to keep the headboard as she gets older, she can. Otherwise, you know, it's not a major uh, thing to get rid of this if she decides that she doesn't like it. So I am going to open this up. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like as soon as we open the box. And then we'll look at the instructions and hopefully we get this built. Uh, should be fun. So I do wanna know, um, as I'm opening it up, I'm noticing that this whole each side is covered by styrofoam and it looks like it's protected by styrofoam right here in the back. So that is one thing that I was concerned about is how much where things were floating around there. So that's one thing to note. I'm gonna get the rest of it open. So getting this open is just a wall of styrofoam. So it's starting to make me feel better. Uh, hopefully we don't have any more issues with chips or scratches or anything like that. All right, so I got the styrofoam off. I already took the booklet out, but this is basically how it's packaged. Uh, it's starting to make me feel better. There was a big scratch on this side of the box. Um, but now I realize that only it was covered by a styrofoam. It is not even the headboard at all. So I'm um, start looking at the instructions. All right, guys, so here are the instructions and that's how the crib is going to look. Uh, the first thing I always look to see is how many steps there are. Um, it looks like a thick book, but it looks like half of it is in a different language. And we have 10 steps, 11 steps. Let's see, is there any more? Huh? 11 steps, so not too bad book is nice and thick. Actually, I'll flip through the pages just in case uh, something happens to your booklet. It does recommend two people. Um, whoever's putting this together knows that it's either good. It's probably me one person. So <laughs> uh, let's see who we got right here. We got the pieces. So if you need it longer, just pause. We got the hardware and the first step. Again, if you need it longer, just pause. Try not to spend too much time on that. There's the second part. Then the third part. The fourth part. The fifth part. I know this is helpful. One time I got a, a booklet, uh, I was building something and it was uh, torn up. I couldn't exactly figure out what was going on. And it's hard to find these manuals sometimes. Most of the time you can find them, you can find a PDF version, but you know what? If you're looking at a review um, about it, <laughs> it might be helpful already. You already know it's here. So we did get the gray version. Um, I think that's gonna be seen to be the color uh, of a lot of our stuff here. 11 version. Okay, we're gonna get started with step one. So step one, and I'm not gonna, show myself building it, time lapse or anything like that. But uh, I will point out anything that I find is difficult or um, confusing, I will definitely point it out. All right, see you on a few. 
There's like styrofoam over styrofoam and protection on this thing. There's gonna be little pieces everywhere. Just in case you're wondering, the hardware comes like this. All nice and organized. So I'm taking all the pieces out. Uh, they are marked. So they do have the little, uh, this one says B1. So if you're wondering when you're trying to put stuff together, it's there. You don't want to see my butt the entire time, do you? So far, I'm spending more time trying to figure out if things are upside down or right side up. So uh, most of this is me just overthinking myself. All right, so this is what I struggled with. So you have to connect the back headboard uh, to the side rails. And obviously I'm doing this by myself and it's hard to balance all three. So I leaned it up against this packing plate, which is pretty heavy. And then uh, I connect it this way. Now, the most difficult part was connecting this screw, but on the bottom. So you have to get really underneath there and make sure everything's correct. But uh, I eventually got this one on, so I'm gonna do the second one now. And then we'll be halfway through it once I get that connected. Also, I would say, um, even before you screw them in, go ahead and put the screws in the side rail. That way it kind of gives you more stability while you're working on it and when you're tightening it up. Another quick tip, I got a really small screwdriver. That way I can hold those uh, locks underneath the, the crib. Let me show you what the lock looks like real quick. So basically all the side panels are connected with these bolts and they have these little, they're not exactly nuts, but kind of little locks. You put them in a hole, uh, like on the one side of the crib, you put the bolt in from the other and then you connect it and you lock it that way. So you just, you just have to catch it. The hard part is when you're doing it from underneath, like underneath here, it tends to fall out. So you have to push it in. And when you're underneath, it's better to have a smaller screwdriver. So just a tip, hopefully that helps. All right, so, so far, I think this is the only one I'm gonna actually need help with. I cannot screw this in and hold it up at the same time. And I already put a good scratch in the side of it, so I do not want to scratch it anymore. So my fiance is gonna help me off camera, screw this in real quick. All right, I'm done. Uh, I'll start cleaning up and show you the big reveal. All right, there, there we go. We finished it. Probably took about an hour and a half to finish. Um, the hardest part to do on my own was to get the backboard um, to stand on with the two side rails um, and those lock nuts that you got to put underneath. That That's difficult to do by yourself, but I figured it out, leaned it against something heavy and just kind of took my time, get a smaller screwdriver that way I can get underneath. And that what that did the trick. Um, I did need my fiance self to put the spring on. Um, I thought about propping it up and putting it on top of something, but I didn't know how I would get it out after I finished doing that. So uh, that's the only thing I think you would need uh, someone's help with. But if you're more inventive than I am and you're able to figure it out on your own, I, I think it's doable. Um, I think all in all, uh, it feels really sturdy. It feels like one piece now. I, I didn't, over tighten any of the bolts. I tightened it until I felt like it was really tight without overdoing it. And you'll be able to feel it. It definitely gives you that feeling. Um, 
And if it, I didn't notice any scratches on here except for the one that I put on the side when did the did the railings. I did, did a scratch that's kind of covered with one of the holes. Um, I did, like I said in the reviews that I saw, people had noticed like chips and scratches, and that's when they got it shipped to their house. So I would recommend if you can buy it in store, either in Target or uh, Bye Bye Baby or any other retailer that you know that has it in store, I would highly recommend that. Uh, I was able to fit it in the back of my truck, uh, so it, it does it does have a pretty good size to it. So you just take the dimensions. Um, I'll put links in the description of, uh, on Bye Bye Baby and Target. That way you can be able to see it yourself. But um, it should be able to fit like in a fairly large SUV, I think, um, if you didn't have a truck. So I think that's going to be it for the sort of review on this <laughs> crib. Uh, it's sort of crazy. Now that it's built, it's starting to feel a lot more real. Um, there's, a, there's a crib in my home right now for the little one to come. So if you're watching this, more than likely you have a little one on the way. I want to say congratulations. Um, if you are just watching to watch, maybe for the future, I think this is something to consider. Um, I did buy the toddler rails from Buy Baby, Buy, Buy, Buy Baby because I felt that uh, sometimes you don't find the other pieces. Um, so I will be able to make this into a toddler bed. So I did buy those two at one time, but again, I got the 20% off. And I think on the toddler rails, it ended up being like $60. Um, I think it's normally like 90, I don't know, $80. I, I forgot the full price of it, but I think this is a good buy so far. It looks really, really nice. It looks really good. Like I said, it feels really solid. I just need to wipe it down and we need to get a mattress for it. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate y'all's time. Thank you for checking this out. Um, hope you, helps, hope it helps. I really do hope it helps. All right, guys. Thanks.